I'm Brian Williamson. I'm from Communications Chambers, a consultancy. Um, just talking first about the enablers for telecommunications. A key issue is um, diversity of supply um, of connectivity. And it has taken policymakers some time, if, if they've got there yet, to acknowledge that the supply side has changed. Um, we now have low Earth orbit satellite. We have 5G um, fixed wireless access. So we need to take account of those changes in thinking about how to enable telecoms. Um, I think there's been inadequate focus on the consumer experience, what consumers need and how to deliver that. Um, Connectivity isn't the only way to improve the consumer experience. You can make applications more efficient through things like compression. And so if we just focus on bandwidth, we're missing um, that focus on the consumer experience. So if you were to focus on the diversity of supply and what consumers really need, what would you get in return for that? Um, I think you would get much faster um, progress towards ubiquity indoor and outdoor coverage, um, both for broadband and Internet of Things. Um, it would also help deliver resilience because the best way to get resilience is to have more than one technology you can utilize. And um, I think those are the key things. Focus on diversity of supply, focus on the consumer experience, and that will enable us to make more rapid progress. In terms of things to avoid, um, the, the first one is obvious in a sense, which is don't over-regulate. Regulate as much as you need to, but not more. Um, and why should you do that? The usual argument is that it's to promote investment, but I think also if regulation becomes too dominant in a market, then suppliers focus on regulators, not consumers, uh, because that's where the returns are. The returns are in meeting regulators' needs, not consumers' needs. Um, also, if you over-regulate, you reduce the capacity to adapt as circumstances change. You tend to lock in on particular ways of doing things. The next thing you should avoid is um, don't discourage demand. I mean, that sounds straightforward, but actually the fair share proposal, which has been around for some time, is possibly dead now, would have amounted to a tax on traffic and would have discouraged demand. If anything, what we know now is that um, there's a lack of demand for high capacity networks. Um, we've made a lot of progress on supply, but whether consumers are ready to purchase these products at a, at a, a mass market scale is in question. So don't discourage demand. I mean, the other thing we shouldn't do is lock into long-term supply side targets, and in particular, the gigabit vision. Um, why would you not want to do that? Well, first of all, because circumstances do change. If I think about what almost everyone assumed when we decided on those targets, it was that growth and demand uh, was exponential. It's turned out it's not exponential. The rate of growth is declining, both in terms of um, data traffic growth on mobile networks, but also in terms of demand for ever higher speed connectivity for broadband. Um, households are probably satisfied with something somewhat less than 100 megabits per second. Um, I doubt that many, if any, households would, would see genuine demand for a gigabit per second. They may get that product, but do they need it? Um, and it was assumed historically that that demand would eventuate, that eventually consumers would need that. So it was the future-proof thing to do. But with both traffic growth um, rates declining and no evidence of applications emerging that need these very high speeds, I, I think that's no longer the case. Um, what else, what, what does that imply? Uh, well, poorly framed targets and a failure to adapt promote a misallocation of capital and radio spectrum, and we can't afford that. Um, a narrow focus leads to costly solutions. Um, it has harmed telco balance sheets. Telcos um, say it's difficult for them to invest at the scale required because of their balance sheet position. That is partly because so much has been expended on on these high cost solutions. Um, public finances are also stretched, so there's a premium on using that money wisely. 
And the result of all of that is is um, a slowing of progress and a, a recognition that by 2030 we may not meet the targets that had been set. And I think what we're headed for is is inefficient, but not only inefficient, inequitable. And it's inequitable because it leaves some people with very good broadband access, probably better than they need, and others with less good broadband, possibly not as good as what they need. So if we were to refocus um, taking account of what consumers need and taking account of the diversity of supply side solutions, um, much faster progress could be made. And I think the outcomes would be better.